This is a legacy episode of the Lesbian Historic Motif podcast, originally released as part of the Lesbian Talk Show podcast group. Some references may be obsolete. The show looks at lesbian-relevant themes in history and literature, has interviews and discussions about current historical fiction with queer female characters, including fantastic versions of the past, and presents new original historical fiction for your enjoyment. This week, Janelle M. Ferreira, author of the lesbian regency romance, The Covert Captain, joins us again to talk about some of her favorite reads that feature queer women in history. Welcome back, Janelle. Hi, thank you again for having me. Um, So I thought and thought about um, my favorite historicals, and uh, if you love regency romances, uh, you can't do much better um, than Spring Flowering by Farrah Mendelssohn. It is super, super faithful... Um, to the light and sweet uh, sort of Georgette higher standards. And I just, I love it so much. Um, it, you know, I kept harking back to it, you know, because, you know, you can do this. You can do a lesbian regency and people love it. And I also like Kissing the Witch by Emma Donahue. It was a very germinal work for me because it was the first time that I sort of saw the alternative historical setting. And there short stories with, I think every single one has a queer woman uh, and, a, you know, at least a briefly mentioned romance between women. Uh, Emma Donahue is now mostly known for her novel Room, I think, which doesn't have queer content, but I still have her down in my head as one of the best writers of queer historicals. Um, and she nails every detail, even when it's a fantastic setting. Well, and, um, and, and I first encountered her as a writer of history books. So her works on, um, you know, queer women in history, yeah, from the historical mm-hmm. point of view, are some of my favorites. Oh, yeah. She has Passions Between Women and We Are Michael Field. And um, Passions Between Women, if you don't have that text and you're, you're at all a queer history nerd, you really should. Um, but that's not fiction. And I wrote down yeah. some fiction. I did, <laughs> I did my assignment. So I was really pleased in 2014 uh, when your book came out, Daughter of Mystery. I like that one. And if you want something completely different, I really like Jai's uh, Backwards to Oregon and its sequel. It is about hot lesbian ranchers, but it's also very, very plausible. And like, you have to get to the Old West somehow, and that's just fraught with danger. And I think someone even gets their period. Someone on the on the Oregon Trail gets their period while they're passing as a man, I think. And that's... <laughs> nobody ever goes there. That's awesome. <laughs> but it's just an awesome... <laughs> It's an awesome duology of books. I think duology is too. Duet? I don't know. Yeah, duology. But but I think there's even more than that, because I think there's a third book that like continues on next generation characters or something. I'm not oh. sure. I haven't read them, but uh, but you pick up these details. I have I have the two the two first ones in actual paper tree book on my bookshelf and I cherish them. And I also it's not explicit queer content, but Rosemary Kirstein's The Steerswoman books. Um, mm-hmm. to me, are some of the most amazing fantasy for queers, even if I'm only coding it for queers, and I love it, so I say it's queer. Yeah, they get recommended a lot to me as, uh, well, it, it's, it's very peculiar. It's like, it, it, it has a fantasy flavor, but a science fiction underpinning, and lots and lots of very, you know, strong female relationships, and, and I have not yet, I've got them sitting on my iPad, I haven't gotten around to reading them yet. The to be read list is so long. It's yeah, my my to be read list is pretty deep. Um, but and I think that she is also working on one of those. And sometimes writing is at the please don't tap the glass stage of, of process. So I you know, <laughs> but definitely the three that are out there are are good. So those are those are my picks. Yay! That sounds like a pretty good shelf to uh, work on. So thank you so much, Janelle, for sharing those books with us. And of course, I'll include links to all the titles in the show notes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Lesbian Historic Motif podcast. See the show notes for links to people and topics. Most shows will have a transcript linked as well. If you have a book announcement, a topic suggestion, or might like to appear on the show, please drop me an email. If you enjoyed this podcast, please rate it and subscribe on your favorite podcast app and consider supporting our Patreon. 